The first time I touched tufa, it was a new experience. It's very unlike any other rock. It's basically just consolidated salt. How's the view? Spectacular. Got a nice handhold up here. But like anything, you learn as you go. Trial and error. Hello, I'm Ashley Lewis. I'm a wildlife biologist for California State Parks. I've been working with parks now for about 12 years and I've been out here at Mono looking at this population of osprey for that entire time. My name is Peter Bloom. I'm a raptor ecologist, uh, having worked with birds of prey mainly in California for about 50 some odd years. And I've been working on this particular osprey population, uh, assisting state parks with, with their research. We have a fairly large population of maybe a dozen pairs actively nesting in Mono Lake, but foraging in the surrounding lakes. And they nest here on these tufa mounds. And why the tufa mounds? Because it's such a safe place to nest. No mammalian predators can get out here, and uh, great horned owls and golden eagles and bald eagles uh, so far ignore them. So the process begins early in the morning. We launch the boat, hopefully, it starts. It doesn't always start. We usually try to be on the water by 7.30 because heat is a factor for the chicks. The adults are shading them during the day to keep them from overheating. So time is a factor. So when we approach these tufa nests, they're all pretty different. They are towers of calcium carbonate out of the water and we climb into the nest uh, to ban the chicks. And so we'll set up the ladder, which is pretty challenging, as you can imagine. Um, sometimes we're like balancing the ladder between two towers, over the water, holding the boat, taking pictures, all while trying to be as quick as possible so that these uh, chicks will be shaded again. So we climb the ladder or the tufa into the nest, and the nests are huge. They're, I can lay down in it. It's, they're like three feet wide, maybe up to five and we put them into a backpack to take them down to the boat to ban them. And then Pete and I will put the little bands on their leg. Oh, I know, I just squeezed you there, didn't Sorry. I? Sorry. We put a metal band on one leg and then the color band on the other. And so we band all the chicks and then we put them back in the backpack and we climb back up to the nest and we put them back in their, their home. We put the ladder and everybody back in the boat and then we take off to the next nest. Banding as a tool is nothing short of awesome because what you're attempting to do is mark individuals and those individuals represent what populations do. And they may be failing, they may be wonderfully successful, they may be stable, but that's all important information to understand what species are doing. This is a very important place as a, a resource for dispersing young ospreys going out throughout other parts of California, Nevada, people, probably even Idaho and Washington. We radio tagged satellite transmitter type units on uh, two or three of them. And in fact, we had a, a recovery recently of a, an adult that we banded here at Mono Lake that was recovered in Alabama. So. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge gained from banding, including just how long birds live, their association with their mates, in terms of mate fidelity, territory fidelity. And from a conservation perspective, that knowledge is everything to the future conservation of species, bird species, uh, across the world for that matter. I hope that I'm out here for the rest of my career, partaking in this project and making sure that it continues. But I hope that this story encourages Practice Flappy. the protection of this lake. And there's a lot of agencies around here and we're all working together. The Mono Lake Committee is exceptional and Forest Service is involved and we're all, we're all working together. I've found that working with everything from California condors to flammulated owls, has been uh, an incredibly uh, rewarding career. 51 years to be exact since I got my bird banding license. Hi, baby. You got a good mama.
Pretty shady.